Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to take a look at T-Mobile. I'm Lonnie, by the way. This is Candace. Hey. We are going to take a look at T-Mobile's 5G home internet today. It's 50, it costs 50 bucks a month all in. No taxes or no other fees. It's no just contract. 50, nothing, no contract. Nothing. Just fifty dollars. Fifty bucks. We current. We used to have cable. We do have cable available here. Uh, got mad at them. They and the service was not that great. And it was expensive. And it was expensive. So we went to Starlink. Yes. Starlink is okay. It goes out intermittent outages quite often. I say okay it's not really it go it like lots of intermittent out outages and the speed is not great and it's kind of expensive it's like a hundred bucks a month yeah so first I want to show y'all this is the test that this is on Starlink by the way you see SpaceX Starlink now this is going through a bunch of Wi-Fi and other stuff but our I, I we do have trees like we don't have the cleanest look angle for our satellite maybe some be people would get better results than we have this is what i get right here though the 17 down and sometimes this is better than this some usually it's more around six or seven but yeah 17 and three that's not good no. that's why we have this thing let's open this uh that's this little thing yeah, up while we're trying look T-Mobile advertisement. All right, let's open this thing up, Candace. And we are just gonna, this is just a first look, fast look at it. Um, we are just gonna set this thing up real quick and see what kind of speeds we get with this 5G gateway. Yep. Let's go ahead and... Uh, What's inside? The gateway, the start guide, and a power supply. I think we also have to put some kind of app on our phone. Probably so. All right, I just installed the T-Mobile app. Uh, the guy on the phone when we ordered it, they were very nice on the phone, by the way. Yes. When we ordered it, uh, he said to go ahead and get this thing plugged in uh, and let it run for about two minutes before we run the app. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, uh, position, power connection, and download. Here is the gateway itself, and we do have power down here at the bottom of this box. Yep. Okay, had this uh, had a big, big fat wall wart there, and the cable. And uh, did you power it on yet? Uh, yeah, I hit it in the back. I don't okay, know. it says powering up right there. Yeah. All right, we'll just give this a couple of minutes. Okay, we don't have this thing. This is our first look. We're gonna do another video later where we talk about how we like it long term. But it says 5G up here has a uh, one two three four out of five bars there and it says to download the t-mobile app zero devices connected and it's kind of messages I saw another guy who said uh he was getting under messages he would get like spam messages and stuff oh uh, because it has a phone number assigned to it to the sim card yeah, yeah so it was getting like text messages. <laughs> right yeah. that'll be pretty funny uh -huh. and set up device Okay, 5G gateway, what's in the box? Okay, yeah, we have that stuff. Next, location, okay, skip. Let's check the signal direction. Okay. Okay, now it is asking us to scan a QR code. Okay, it, did, it just said connected, and it said your connection is very good. And then I have to do some stuff on here, which I don't want to show the usernames and whatnot all right y'all uh supposedly this connection is already all set up and ready to go it was about five minutes on uh the app the t-mobile app on the on, i showed y'all a few bits and pieces it really is fairly self self-explanatory there yep. so candace let's go take a look at our uh let's go connect to our new connection here all right, here is the moment of truth. I'm back on speed test. It is T-Mobile here. And let's say go. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Over, well, about 380 down. We I've never had anywhere 
near that speed at this house. Mm -mm. Our, no. When we had, it's almost, look, it hit almost 400 down. Yeah. The upload is going to be a lot slower, of course, but it's still, we've never had, like when we were on cable, Cox cable, our max download would be like 30 meg. Uh, Starlink is faster sometimes it would get up to 50 60 if I was connected directly right like with Ethernet but we've never experienced speeds anywhere close to this like yep. not even close so I hope it look it got up to 32 okay. for upload mm -hmm. which is a big deal because I am a content creator not just on this channel I have a couple other channels we upload uh, multiple times a week a lot of times those uploads are like those files are like four gigs or more they could take hours to upload uh that's gonna that's gonna cut the time for those upload i'm i'm ecstatic that is it that's what we've been wanting right there it was worth the wait we had to get on like a, a waiting list type thing yeah we've been waiting for a few months yeah for it to open in our area yeah a spot. It, they have a certain i think they just have a certain amount of bandwidth or a certain amount of tower like they'd want to do this without uh hurting their cell phone clients yeah so i think they're just like there's a they can't release more spots until they get enough bandwidth to do it so uh first impression uh super easy and super fast and super cheap now how are we going to feel about it after we've used it for a while we'll have to make another video about that but thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye